Hello, I'm Kyle at Trident Fly Fishing. Today we're going to tie Turk's Tarantula. Turk's Tarantula was created by a guide from Jackson Hole, Wyoming named Guy Turk in the 1990s. He was looking for a fly that fished as well as the Madam X, but floated better and was easier to see. In the end, the only thing that remained of the Madam X was the rubber legs. Fly is usually tied in sizes 6 through 10, and here's the fly in the vise. The hook we're going to use today is a Daiichi 1280. It's a two extra long dry fly hook. This is on a size 8. And the thread we're going to use is Vivas GSP 100 and white. We'll start our thread about two thirds of the way down the hook shank. When we reach the bend, we'll cut it off. And the first material that we're going to tie in is going to be from a Lady Amherst head. And we'll pull off a few fibers. You want to keep the fiber tips even when you pull those off. And the length of the tail we want to be about a hook gap in length. So right about there I would say. And we're going to make a dubbed body. And for this, we're going to use Nature's Spirit Snowshoe Rabbit foot dubbing in the color olive. This is kind of a chunky body. Next is going to be a little bit of crystal flash in pearl. It's going to be four strands as part of the underwing of this fly. And it's relatively short, so we'll just take one strand and we'll cut that to make four. Tie these right on top of the hook, just in front of our dubbing. And we want these to be just a tad shorter than the tail, like so. And And the underwing of this fly is going to be some calf's tail hair in the color white. So we'll pick out a small bunch. Snip that off. Pull out all the fuzzies. Stacking this really doesn't do a lot sometimes. It's so twisty. And we want this to be just back to the end of our crystal flash. Slippery stuff, so good tight turns to hold it in place. So the next material we're going to tie in is going to be the wing. That's just some natural deer hair. And we'll cut a clump off that's, oh, a little less than a pencil width in diameter. Or oh, half a pencil width in diameter, I should say. It's not, a, it's not an overly big wing. So we've got more hair than we can use here. 
We'll strip out all of the shorts and fuzzies. Get this in a stacker. Get our tips evened up. Again, we'll check that length right there. I'll hold on to the deer hair, take two loose wraps and pull tight, hanging on to that hair so it doesn't slide around the shank and take a couple more wraps through all that hair and hold it in place. If you've done it right, it's gonna stay right on top along with everything else. Now pull our hair back, jump our thread in front of the wing. Make some tight turns to hold it in place. And we're going to tie in our legs next. They are hairline medium round rubber legs in white. I'm going to strip off just one piece. And we're going to cut these kind of long so that they're easier to hold on and keep out of the way when we do the deer hair head. So we want these on either side of the hook shank. One there. One on the other side. Don't worry about trapping a few hairs in there. They're all, they'll all disappear into the head when you're done. Now we're going to bring these legs back behind our fly to keep them out of the way while we spin some deer hair in front of those legs. We're going to use our hacker pliers, hackle pliers to hang on to everything like so. There. So once again, um, some natural deer hair and we'll cut about a pencil sized clump out of this. We're going to spin this hair so there's no need to stack it. But we do want to get all of the fuzzies out of the hair or it will not spin correctly. And this is the side that we want to be showing when we spin the hair. We don't want the tips. So we're going to cut those off. Two loose turns and then start to pull tight and as you do just let the hair slip out of your fingers and then it'll rotate all the way around. Bring your hair, your thread forward through the hair up to the hook eye. And we don't have to tie another clump, we're right there. So we'll use our half hitch tool to tie this off. Cut our thread. And we're going to start on the bottom of the fly and we're going to cut straight back. Mind your legs. It's really easy to get them caught up in it and cut them all off and then you got to start over. You can use scissors for this. I use a combination of the scissors and the razor blades so I'm going to follow the contour of the hook eye and just push it back to get that muddler shaped head. Now some of this fly you just have to do in your hand. So I'm going to take it out of the vise and holding the legs out of the way I'm going to Roughly shape the side of the head. I'm 
There, now I can put it back in the vise and clean it up. You can keep trimming on this fly until you don't have anything left, so you, every person's got to decide when they're satisfied with the shape of the fly and kind of know when to quit. Let those legs go free, see what it looks like. So the rear legs we want to be um, as long as the tail. So we'll just hold those back like so and give them a snip. And then the front legs about three quarters the length of the rear. We'll pull those out front till they're even. Give them a snip. So a little head cement. This is uh, Loon's water-based. Soaks in well. And your fly is finished. Feel free to leave comments at the bottom of the page. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to see all the current content here at Trident Fly Fishing. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you again next time.